Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga and I wish you a very happy new year 2021. I hope this year brings a lot of happiness in your lives. You stay healthy, you take care of your loved ones and improve your chess as always. Now, before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's begin with the first game of 2021. It's a final blitz. I've got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. Starts with d4. And then I can develop my bishop on f4. Knight f6 by my opponent. Okay, tries to give me a pawn and I think I should take it here. Free pawn. Why deny? Yes, of course, the queen can take back next, but at least we are developing in a decent way. I'll go ahead with a knight now. Maybe pawn forward next. Uh, I can hunt the bishop, but then I'll stop developing this pawn. So I need to move the pawn first so that there's, the bishop is always active in future. Uh, can begin with a check uh, or I can just develop the knight. Let's go with knight so that I can get my knight over to b3, attacking the queen. Uh, and then the ideas of bishop lining up and queen lining up eventually. But since knight is there, I have to probably delay this a bit. What can we do? I think I should develop the bishop over here. Why give a check and let my opponent develop the knight with tempo. I can go ahead with the pawn. Maybe play h5 as well. Okay, attacks my bishop, so I can just attack the knight maybe. My opponent can move the knight away and then hope uh, that I don't play pawn forward other and trap my bishop. Actually, you can still trap it by playing uh, knight over to h5. Does that trap my bishop eventually? Knight h5 would mean I cannot move the pawn forward. Then I would have to play g4 maybe just to kick that knight away. Yeah, that would be fine. So eventually I'll be able to save the bishop as well. Not a problem. Um, This year I hope it, it happens to be a very good one for everyone. Uh, it was a good last year for chess yard at least. Yes, a lot of things happening in life like coronavirus uh, for everyone, people dealing with it. Uh, chess got more live streaming. Okay, I can take this probably. I have to, no other option. Opponent takes the knight, okay. I can take the bishop. Open can take a pawn if yes. And so my opponent got extra pawn eventually. Because if I now take the rook, opponent comes with the queen. So I cannot help uh, to in that situation. So I need to attack the pawn and opponent takes that. I'll take the pawn here. Have this pawn forward next move. Things looks okay to me. There's no nothing lost here as of now. Yeah, that doesn't bother me much. I can play pawn forward as I was planning to. Trying to attack the g6 further. A couple of things attacking it. Um, I should take it here, I think. Yeah, I'll take. Open can take the bishop away. And I can take back. Doesn't. Uh, I'll go ahead with the knight maybe or just double up with the queen. This would let me actually castle eventually. If knight here, then I can of course just do my king up uh, to e2. That should be okay. And then I can get the other rook active or the g file and then attack. Yeah, so 
I was telling Chester India got good subscribers last year, thousand subscribers, um, in a span of six seven months. July, what well, it was when I started for July, it has been a nice journey so far, uh, thousand subscribers, and then sixteen hundred watch hours, public watch hours, not uh, others. So that's also a nice stat to have. Um, so yeah, pretty much happy with how the channel has progressed so far. I can attack uh, the bishop now. And this prevents probably a knight can still come in anyway. But yeah, I have good control on the square just in case an opponent also tries to double up here. Of course, I can play pawn forward as well, attacking the knight. That would hinder a lot of stuff for my opponent. Uh, now, if I play pawn forward, what is my opponent going to do? It's going to probably going to give me a check from here. Rather, I think I should just play my bishop here, which saves the bishop from the knight at least. And then, if now opponent trades up, I'm okay. If bishop trades, I take with the queen, and then I castle. My king would be safe for my opponent's king is a bit weak there. Knight comes in, so I have to take here. Um, instead of moving, yes, th this should be a better option. Or what if I just move my king uh, here? Nah, it won't help me much. Or will it? Let's take it. Let's take it. It's okay. Uh, king can go up on the dark square. Always a better option. Uh, but then... Oh, wait a second. I can just get in my knight as well here. But then he goes back on to h5 maybe. Hmm. h5. Bishop goes to h5. Okay, I'll just move the king. It's okay. If I have to prevent this, I can just simply get my rook here first. And once the rook is defending the pawn, then I can just simply... Move other stuff as well eventually. Okay, let's go ahead with the knight to begin with. Getting more pieces into action. Attacking the bishop. Attacks my queen now. So I have to move the queen. Queen can come down here. Yes, he can take a pawn. I save the queen there. Uh, my rook is being attacked. I have to make sure that there's no threat later on. If I go here, then there will be discoveries happening. So I have to go here. Open does take there. Um, should I play pawn forward? Let's give a check to begin with. The pawn is weak. I need to defend this pawn as well. Okay. Is that checkmate? pretty soon because that's a check and that can be made if I think that's made I think that is made my opponent let me give a check for my another and he designs <laughs> yep that was made because only rook could have come in between once or he just moves and gets checkmated eventually so a similar rated player, exactly same actually, 90-25 there. Uh, and yep, things changed pretty quickly. Uh, he was on the attack and suddenly uh, missed something big and lost there. Uh, let's analyze the match quickly once from computer perspective as well, like always. Uh, it started with uh, d4, knight f6, bishop f4, c5 by opponent, and I took the pawn. Then yes, I have to play knight there, but I prefer playing c3. Uh, then the knight, uh, trying to develop normally. Yes, uh, this is one move where you just give away the pawn. And if your opponent takes, that can be bad. Uh, because then you're giving a check and then you get to have the knight. So that can be tricky uh, for the opponent. Sometimes you can play such moves. If bishop here, then you can, of course, get your queen backwards anywhere. That's okay because you are piece ahead and that should be fine but instead in the game i played pawn to e3 opponent played uh, g6 trying to fear and kill the bishop i go with knight d2 
and then bishop comes out i attack the queen queen goes back i develop the bishop and then h4 trying to be aggressive there then bishop on to g5 i took the knight the right move there opponent takes my knight i had to take oh i could have taken with the queen that gives me extra pawn because once i take and my opponent takes now the bishop i get to take it and that's pretty strong position for the queen as well yes can be chased uh, by placing a knight over d7 which is not the best move but then once i come here i'm attacking the pawn i'm uh, it's a discover attack on the queen so knight cannot be moved bishop would be tough to be uh, moved as well so eventually my opponent would have to play something like queen to d8 trying to exchange queens but then i can take another pawn so that's a good situation to be in i missed that part but i let my opponent i took the bishop instead of taking the pawn with the queen opponent takes back here it takes the pawn here first and i have to save the rook uh so that's what happens opponent takes i take back then knight develops and yes the right move h5 trying to break open the, the situation on the king side uh, I can go with f4 or get my bishop backwards, but I just took the pawn first, which was not the right move. Okay, I should have chased the knight out. I could have waited for that h4 break. But my opponent takes with uh, f, uh, takes on g6. So that was not the right take as well uh, for the opponent. I get my queen here. Uh, and then bishop tries to attack my rook. Rook goes up, the right moves. And then bishop exchange uh, offered here. My opponent gets the knight in between, which I take. Uh, and again, I just moved the king here. I should have just attacked, moved ahead with the knight. My problem with going, oh, okay, this is interesting because if my opponent doesn't find the right place for the bishop, I was wondering if h5 is attacking, but no, that's worse because then I get to have a nasty folk on my opponent. So here my opponent had to find the only right move, which was bishop onto d5. And then I can probably castle and that's where white is very much in ahead in the game because of nice attack after the rooks gets doubled up on the g file. Also the queen is lined up. So that looks very nasty. Uh, plus of course knight is always in one step uh, to give a check so that's why it was pretty much in control but i moved the king instead my opponent plays pawn forward i now go with the knight he tries to attack my queen i could have given a check and taken his queen and then i also win a piece but i rather played a bad move there queen over to d1 probably thinking on time and not probably uh, in the best of my touches so far just trying to get going and then i had to go back opponent takes the rook then I give a check, uh, an opponent goes uh, to the wrong square. Had he gone to the light square, uh, which was uh, on to g8, that's mate in three and black is completely winning. From there, he played one bad move, which was king h8. And suddenly queen comes over to d4 uh, there. And that's mate in three at best. If queen comes in between, I take. Then rook comes in between, I take. And then that's mate. So uh, no matter what my opponent plays here, that was going to be checkmate, which my opponent saw. And after he moves the king, I couldn't mate. That's why the resignation came in. So uh, you don't have to be bogged down by any kind of an attack where your opponent is doing. Just hang in there and try to find ways to counter attack and win it from any situation. So I didn't lose my guard there. I didn't see the mate though, to be honest, that I was being about to mate in four, but so my opponent also doesn't. So when you're playing a uh, similar to players, you can always go ahead and attack and feel the way that you, you haven't lost the game anytime. You, you are in the game always. So just try and find just one move then that all it takes. Because once I go ahead with the knight and give a check, my opponent played uh, a bad move, which was king to h8. And from mate in in four for me, it turned to mate in four for him. So that's how quickly the games can change. And I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And help me grow this uh, as much as possible. 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टाइम टेक केयर बाय बाय